Hey guys, Realtor Ron Klotschman here. Tonight, I'm on the world famous Sunset Strip, and I'm going to be showing you, I actually just turned up Sunset Plaza and saw some of the beautiful homes that adorn the edges of the Hollywood Hills. And tonight, I'm going to be showing you some of the Sunset Strip, a walking tour. It's a cold night for Los Angeles. It's 50 degrees. That's cold for us here, for me anyway. Um, I'm going to show you some of the sights and yeah, we'll see what we see. It's a very interesting place. And like I say, I'll show you some of the Hollywood Hills are right behind us. So we're kind of nestled right up against the Hollywood Hills. And there's obviously very large homes up there and a lot of musicians and actors, and attorneys, producers, directors, screenwriters live up there. Um, and everybody else, regular folk, like you and me. But anyway, I'm going to show you some of these sites here uh, on the Sunset Strip, across from Sunset Plaza, and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, this is West Hollywood, technically Hollywood, but it's actually West Hollywood. So let's take a look, see what we see. Let's flip around. Third time's a charm, baby. Yep, third time was a charm. That used to be the Dome restaurant over there. Kind of looks like a squashed pancake or a spaceship. This is uh, probably about a mile walk that I take here. Oh, that's something new there, new restaurant. I think it's a little more than a mile, I don't know how. I can't recall what this used to be, but this area has been closed off for quite a long time here at Sherborne and Sunset. Anybody knows? Drop it in the comments. These large billboards. They've always had, obviously, music and uh, movie dial uh, billboards. There's some of the homes above in the Hollywood Hills. That's already considered the Hollywood Hills, even though it's just above Sunset Boulevard. I'm a little hoarse today, so excuse the voice. My singing voice. <clears throat> Slate has changed names many times. I remember it was Red Rock last year. Bar. Next to Warren Tattoo, which looks available. <clears throat> Whew, it's cold, man. It's a cold one. I know if you're not in California, you're laughing because it's only cold here. I mean, only cold if you're a native Southern Californian, like I am. Coffee bean. Coffee bean with very limited parking, but I guess it works. nice patio area though. Okay, now this is sad because here's the old Tower Records. This Tower Records, many rock stars when they had an album, when they had an album coming out, they'd uh, come here. This guy almost hit me, not paying attention. What a shock. Uh, the album, they'd come out and do record signings here. Public would line up, buy the record, the artist would sign it. And look at that, it's vacant. It's been vacant. In fact, it's just a parking lot now. They're just using the parking lot. It's very sad. That was really an iconic place. There's Book Soup across the street there. That's a bookstore. It's been around, oh, I don't know, since the early 90s, I think. A lot of celebrities have been there, and a lot of celebrities have had book signings there as well. Okay, now we're coming up to another infamous location here. Right next to Gil Turner's there. Q 
can't see the sign. I don't know why it's so dark. But where it says December 12th, private event. Oh, there it is. That's the Viper Room. That's the rock club partially owned, or at least was, by Johnny Depp. And that's where River Phoenix died, right there on the sidewalk. OD'd right there on the sidewalk, right out front. Right there at Gil Turner's in front, there used to be a um, payphone. And that's where his brother, Joaquin Phoenix, called the police. Called the EMTs, I should say, the ambulance. Uh, obviously, the payphone's no longer there, but the Viper Room is still there. Keep going here. Let's keep going. Sunset Strip Liquor. So, two liquor stores like right next to each other. It tells you something, doesn't it? Uh, the world famous Subway sandwiches of the Sunset Strip next to Tattoo Mania. Both have been here quite a while. Oops. I want to see my finger. Here's the Hustler store which is in a much smaller location than its original location, which is very large. Might have been there across the street there, I don't remember, but it seemed a much larger location before. I guess they couldn't afford to rent. <clears throat> Coming up to the whiskey, the world famous whiskey a go-go. I'm gonna have to walk off the sidewalk there because there's so many people. Not too many, not like it used to be. But. So this is where the doors were the house band. Johnny Rivers was the first house band, I believe. Famous Whiskey A Go-Go. All right, so there's uh, about a dozen kids lined up waiting to get in. Always interesting, always interesting. bar is relatively new, been here a couple of years, maybe a couple of years, maybe not even. That's usually, I think just a vacant lot, I can't remember what they, I think that's just a vacant lot, a parking lot, they turned it into a Christmas tree place to sell Christmas trees. Coming up to the end of our walk, I think we've done about a half mile already. Because I walk fast. Because I walk fast in general and because it's damn cold. Look at that up ahead. That's the rainbow. We're coming up to the Roxy and the rainbow. Roxy, very famous rock and roll club. Music club. And the Rainbow Bar and Grill was called Villanova in its heyday. It was an Italian restaurant. Like Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio had their <coughs> first date there. Among other stories. So it looks like they're lining up in front of the Roxy, too. Come back in a second. All right, so somebody's playing tonight. Let's walk out in the street here. Let's see what we can get. So the rainbow. This used to be a parking lot. A famous rainbow parking lot. In fact, this parking lot, when it was a parking lot, like when, even when I was here in the 80s, this was a parking lot. And when it was... Uh, that's where John Belushi tried to buy drugs last night of his life, and he he failed in that endeavor at the Rainbow parking lot. Of course, he succeeded uh, with Kathy Smith, but not at the Rainbow parking lot. Look at that! We're at the end of the folks. That's basically the end of the strip there, and then it becomes Beverly Hills, and up the hill there are. The, I don't know who she is, but she said something. Uh, 
Then we're in the Hollywood Hills. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call it here because I showed you both sides of the street pretty well. The Sunset Strip, West Hollywood. Behind us there is the, in the dark is the Hollywood Hills. I showed you the views from there before. I'm gonna check them out myself, but I'm not gonna film them again this time because that would be redundant. So anyway, Realtor Ron Klotschman here. Anything you'd like to know about real estate or Southern California, Los Angeles in particular, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Okay, folks, we'll see you at the next location. Thank you. Bye-bye.